trigger happy and I give less than a fuck. Love me or hate me, I'ma show no rip shit up. It's Mr. Nothing, nice on a mic stand. Mike in the left and the zest in my right hand. I took a puff, had enough now, hold up. If that was in dope, niggas getting rolled up. Yo What's going on, folks? This is Acid Roots. I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of the reasoning behind why I'm not quite as hip to doing new album reviews and not doing them immediately. Like, I am going to review stuff from 2022 in 2022, but in terms of, like, doing it, like, the day it comes out, unless I really feel provoked enough and uh, enthralled enough to want to do it, for the most part, I kind of like to let some time pass and some time slide just to kind of give it more time. For one reason, I'll, I'll kind of shed the positive reason first, and I'll tell you that. You know, I kind of feel like if I don't like an album, it feels kind of like a Debbie Downer type situation to, re to as soon as an album comes out, to give it like a 1 or a 2 or a 3 out of 10, some, some sort of bunk score that kind of rains on their parade and stuff. So I don't try to do that as much just because if I really dislike the project, it feels like I kind of sound like a hater or some sort of like um, this... Mr. Negative or something like that, something in that department. And that's not, I mean, you know, me appreciating stuff like MGK, for example, like folks are kind of ha half and half at this point as far as talking about like his new mainstream sellout. But if I were to come, were to sit there and show up and uh, say like, oh, this is a two album, out of time, I probably will, I think I'll like MGK's new album. But, you know, if I didn't, I would feel like, you know, out of the support that I give him and have given him in the past, it'd be kind of mismatched for me to say, oh, this is a one out of 10 album. And that's plenty of situations. That's kind of how I've seen about it is just to kind of say, like, you know, I, I like to give the albums some time so as not to rain on their parade and stuff. But then also with the recent, some of the ones I've done recently, like the Silk Sonic album review, I kind of feel like the, the views are just not quite lucrative enough. And uh, it really kind of feels like pointless to compete with like 20 or 30 other people that mostly do these. I mean, in some cases, like with the Jelly Roll review, I probably could have done that one last year and it would have been okay. But um, it, it really feels like there's just too many cooks in the kitchen at this point to really service like an, a concept of being competitive because you really... I think what people want at this stage is like they want you to have like the top heavy girlfriend with their cleavage showing and they want you to be like in a vehicle, a fancy vehicle, something like that. And those types of atmospheres, or they want you to have like three or four friends with you who are all, you know, like dead, dead end hip hop style, that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, um, I feel like these kind of like uh, more, you know, like the, these more kind of social environments in terms of that being the, the determination of the quality of the video is kind of a detractment. So that's how I felt about it. But I am going to, there is plenty of stuff from 2022 I probably will get to review in, but it probably will not be kind of like the day it shows up. I mean, there is like an album that I want to do. And, you know, when, like I said, when I'm inspired enough, it will happen within a relative soonness, but it's probably not going to be the day it comes out. And for the most part, I just like to kind of let them sit to not rain on their parade and stuff. So there you have it.